Anderson. He has the Ford positively wound out. There is no more, and they're coming up on the white flag. There it is, one more lap to go, and the crowd is delirious, because now David Pearson is beginning to close. The Silver Fox is famous for last lap finishes. Now can he do it? With $25,000 on the win spot, both cars are wound to the limit. Tack needles way over the red line. Two four-wheeled missiles are screaming down the back chute, and David is closing. Now into turn four, there have been 52 lead changes thus far. David Pearson is trying desperately to make it 53. There goes the slingshot out of the dog leg, but he can't do it. Buddy Baker wins the fifth annual Winston 500. David Pearson has to settle for second. Dick Brooks takes third, and Darrell Waltrip finishes fourth. Buddy Baker picks up his pit crew and heads for victory lane. Owner and crew chief Bud Moore tips his hat to a champion. David Pearson has won this race three times. Today, Buddy Baker beat the master of Talladega in a flat out, no holes barred, run for the wire. Out of eight super speedway victories, Buddy said, this the was white the flag. 60 official lead changes among 17 drivers. Richard Petty seeking to make it 61. Half a lap to go. Baker still deployed in first. The persistent Petty second. Then Petty starts to reel Baker in. At turn four, Petty sets up the slingshot by Baker for the finish. But Baker refuses to be intimidated by the master, forces Petty out of the throttle. Buddy Baker, the winner. Tomorrow, National International Wire Services, radio, newspaper, television will tell the world of this weekend's exploits at this, the fastest track. They'll relate how this man cranked out competitive laps at 196 plus miles per hour. And 70,000 people will return home to tell the neighbors how they saw Buddy Baker stymie Richard Petty at the finish line to climax a typical Talladega weekend. Next time by the start finish line, 500 miles will be decided in just one lap through the trioval area and heading for Harold Kinder's white flag. Dale Earnhardt, where do you want to be on this lap? Well, uh, I don't really want to be leading it, but I like to have a, you know, uh, being second or third, have a good shot at uh, running at the lead. Earnhardt has a great shot out of turn number two, heading into the backstretch, 3,400 feet of runway for Earnhardt to work the draft, but slow car ahead. Buddy Arrington is in the low groove. Earnhardt cannot move down and slingshot on the inside. He looks. Not enough room. Baker holds him off, forms the box around Erickson, and Earnhardt has to rethink his strategy. That was the primary passing point. Here they come, pounding out of turn four. The fans are on their feet. Last time by and into the tricky travel. Earnhardt fakes high and goes low. Right to the bottom of the racetrack. Out of the track apron. Earnhardt draws closer, ever closer, but Baker will win the race by three feet. Son Brandon can't believe how close the finish was as Buddy Baker has defeated Dale Earnhardt by just about the length of a fender. Here's David Pearson in the number one car coming across to take the third position. Pearson was the pole sitter but fell out of the draft after the final pit stop. A jubilant Buddy Baker heads his Oldsmobile for pit road and victory lane. Lenny Pond picked up the fourth position and Ty Scott rounded out the top five. Baker, it's his second win of the 1980 season, but he's won the two biggest races thus far, the Daytona 500 in February and here at Talladega. Ned Jarrett is standing by in victory lane as Baker pulls in.